Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And we are back with a brand new game that we created a couple of days ago now. Uh, it's called Four Cards, and so the, we have a deck of regular cards. We have school friendly cards. Uh, if you've got normal cards, you can just use queens for zeros. So the cards, the deck's got zeros to nines, the tens, picture cards, and everything are taken out. Now, it's called four cards to start off with. Each player is dealt four cards. And then the rest of the cards, just kind of roughly split them in half. It doesn't need to be perfect and turn them around like that. Now, unless you don't look at your cards yet, the digits that we've turned up here means that there are four choices of numbers we could make. So we could try to be making 43, or we could be trying to make 34, or we could be trying to make four, or we could try to make three. So when we start, the first turn is going to go to the player, whoever works out an equation most quickly. So are we ready to go, Nash? Okay, go. Mm. Oh, I got one, Nash. Okay, so I'm going to do two plus two plus zero equals four. Yeah. Okay, now, this is how it works. Because I made the four, I get to keep the four, and that is one point for me. These cards are discarded. They are now out of the game. They never come back into the game. And because the game is called four cards, I have to draw back so I've got four cards in my hand. So I'm going to draw from here. One, two, three, four. And you can draw from either side. So now, oh, hold on. Sorry, I, I drew too many. I said one, two, three, four, but they have five cards. Okay, so now Nash is trying to make either. Nine, one, nine or nine and one. Beautiful. Take it away, Nash. And now there's no more speed. Just go at your own pace. Nine plus zero equals nine. Beautiful. So they go over here. Mm -hmm. Nash, you get a point. Put that over there. And you draw from here to get back up to four cards. Yeah. So, one. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do this to illustrate something. I mean, I could make an equation, but let's pretend I can't. If at any point you can't make an equation. So I've got six or 60 in this scenario, I've only got two choices. So if I can't, or zero, so I can make six, 60, or zero. Now, if you can't make anything, so I've spent age, I've looked at my cards, I can't make anything, you just pick up a card from here, and so now I've got five cards, the number in the middle's changed, but that's my turnover. So now it goes back to Nash. Five. All right? So seven. Or 70, or zero. Okay, so this is good, Nash. So now we've got an example of, if you make a two-digit number, you score... Two points. So he gets two cards, which is two points. These go in the discard pile, and he picks up two more. Now, the way the game works is you keep playing until this, these two decks are down to zero. At that point, the game is over. So we'll probably fast-forward this next bit so you can just go to the end and see how the game finishes up. Okay, so three, yeah. Okay, so if this happens, you just take these cards, put them over there so we keep the two digit number option open. Uh, four plus four equals eight. Beautiful. And so again, these are gonna go over here. Now, in this scenario, um, now she needs to pick up two cards. Yeah. The game's over. So once there's nothing in the middle, because we've got to get back up to four cards, the game's over. So our hands go in the discard pile, and now we just count up our cards. Seven. Four. I won. And then we could deal them out and we could play it again. It's a pretty quick game. It doesn't take long to get through the deck. So it's a sort of game if you're setting up for your class to play, you might want them to play 
best of three or best of seven like it's the NBA finals. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye.